Hi, fam. Welcome back. Hope you guys are having a great day. I'm Joe. I'm Dan. And we're back with another reaction. It's movie time. What's playing, Dan? So this week we have a fan request. This is Sunshine. Yes. You out there know who you are. You've requested this a long time ago, and uh, I think this one just got away from us. Sorry about that, but here, <laughs> but here it is nonetheless. It looks interesting, so let's go take a look at it. Cheers to you, fam. Enjoy. Our sun is dying. Mankind faces extinction. The Icarus Project sent a mission to restart the sun. So why is it dying? Oh, that's just a reflection off this ship. Yeah. Good lord. Welcome to Icarus 2. It's a terrible name for this ship. Did Icarus. Icarus fall to his death? He did. To push the sun? Oh, I guess they didn't think that one through. <laughs> Icarus? Yes, Dr. Searle. It's a very sensual AI. <laughs> I'm going to reset the filter to 3.1%. You're going to get a tan. Good God, that is bright. I think your son is working fine. I mean, when you're that close to it. <laughs> <laughs> sure. It's possible that within 24 hours, we won't be able to communicate at all. If any of you are planning on sending a final message home, you should do it now. What would that message even be? Because... Who knows if you're going to make it back, right? Uh, well, Mom and Dad, I hope you're proud of your son, saving mankind. There's Killian Murphy there. Oh, cool. A little greenhouse. It's more than a greenhouse. It's almost uh, aquaponics. It takes eight minutes for light to travel from sun to earth. So if you wake up one morning and it's a particularly beautiful day, you'll know we made it. That's okay. The O2 productivity is good. We already have the oxygen reserves to make it there and a quarter way back. That's good news. Oh my. I can't send my package! The wind is too high! Mace! Calm down. Oh yeah, she wasn't there too long. I know I fucked up. From now on, I'm not gonna lose track again. Bathroom, two hours, and get a haircut, Mace. Yeah, I guess you're looking kind of shaggy there. Mm-hmm. Oh, you got a holodeck. All right, play some video games, dude. We had 19 punctures and a secondary contact to the engine compartment. I watched them hit us from the observation room. It was beautiful. I don't know if I, that's how I would describe something like that. This should be scary as hell. Yeah. Your maintenance program allows a further 14 minutes for the mainframe panel to remain out of coolant tank. Shit! Ooh. It almost froze his hand. That was reckless. Ladies and gentlemen, Mercury. Thought that was the sun. Oh, so I see it. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Can't see the details. Just a black dot. One side's always in total darkness. Yeah, that's interesting. Sounds like sonar. It's the Icarus One. That signal is their distress beacon. Are you saying they're still alive? We don't know. But they could be. This just turned into Event Horizon for real. Pretty much. We're going to pass right by them. Within 10 or 15,000 miles. We could fly straight to them. But we're not going to do that. Finish your mission first. Yes. You have a major priority here. That star is dying. And if it dies, we die. There is nothing, literally nothing more important than completing our mission. I hate to say, but he's right. 100%. We have a payload to deliver. A payload, singular. If we had two bombs, we'd have two chances. I don't like the amount of assumptions. I say stick to your plan. We're going to make the most informed decision available to us. Made by the person best qualified. Our physicist. Oh. <laughs> Man you like the least, yeah. Yeah. Magnetic field structure open. Temperature 37,000. Remaining projection is not open to useful speculation. Why? We've mined all Earth's fissile materials for this bomb. There's not going to be another payload. So it's do or die, basically. Searle's argument is sound. Two last hopes are better than one. No, oh, this is dicey. Good dream? No. <laughs> the surface of the sun? Only dream I ever have. Every time I shut my eyes, it's always the same. You guys really are going crazy. Wait, 
What's happened? In order to change the route, I had to manually override Icarus. It changes our angle of approach to the sun by 1.1 degrees. You didn't reset the shields to the new angle. Is that a problem? If the sun beams on their ship, it'll start frying it. Probably. I forgot! All right? What's the actual damage? We don't know. All the sensors out there are burned out. So we have no idea the state of the affected area. This could be a problem, though. I'll get suited up. It's a two-man job. I volunteer. I volunteer, Kappa. <laughs> really? You're trying to get this man killed. You better have a filter for that window. You're gonna go blind out there. I know, man. That's just gonna like fry a hole in your head. I'm gonna be rotating us so the damage is facing away from the sun. Do we understand each other? If you rotate by that much, we're gonna lose comm towers three and four. Y'all are creating problems for yourself here. Well, it's numbers three and four. They should have one and two, right? I would hope so. Jesus. This thing's made of gold? That's wild. I wonder what that shield's made out of. Is this glass? Oh, that's looking dangerous. And you're right, you're gonna lose that. <laughs> Lord. That thing just fried instantly. Fatal damage to comms towers three and four. You couldn't bring those in? <laughs> I mean... Poor design choice. I don't mean to play hind Captain Hindsight here, <laughs> but uh... They're about 300 meters out. Oh my. You are damn close to death. Approaching first power. Hydraulics are burnt out. You can do it? It'll take a while, but we can do it. <laughs> okay. Oh, what was that? They took a reflection. There was oh, the whole air supply. Shit! I think we're venting all two! Resuming computer control. Returning vessel to original rotation. Oh! Uh, Y'all better get inside. Yes, fast. get out of there. Fire and oxygen garden. Oh. oh no. Oh, it's all gone. Why were the alarms not going off the first time? You made it, Kappa. Get back to the airlock now. The ship will burn out if the solar shields are not repaired. They're gonna die. Override Icarus, Cassie, pilot, emergency command, zero, zero, zero. No. Icarus, continue procedure. What are you doing? True priority is to protect the payload. Icarus. Take control of the ship. Affirmative, Captain. Damn it! Gonna sacrifice yourselves out there for this. God almighty, all because you went off course. Let me in! Negative. Please! You are sealed by operating superior combat. Help me! You motherfucker! Let me in! You don't want to go in there. Fire will burn for six hours. 60% chance of containment failure. Oh, God. Flood it with O2. It'll cause a flashover, make it burn itself out. We'll lose the whole garden. We already lost it. Yeah. Better the garden than everything else. You need to get out of there! Good God. I don't want to be standing by that glass. No! Kappa, go back. I'll finish this. He's the one man that's gotta live. He's not gonna make it back. No. He's, he knows he knows he's done for. Final battle closing. The shield is secure. You have to move now! Captain is right on! He's done. It's just gonna swallow him whole. Oh yeah. Just vaporize. Oh never mind. He's going slow. Damn it. Fried to a crisp in the middle of space. Well, what are you doing? Get out of there! Sheesh. That's some insane heat the sun's putting off there. Y'all have problems. Oh, well, that's space for you. Trey is sedated in the med center. Dr. Searle has diagnosed him as a suicide risk. It's not your fault, man. We do not have enough oxygen reserves to get us to our payload delivery point. We now have no choice but to rendezvous with Icarus 1. Yep. Can't you just sacrifice yourselves? Harvey said there's not enough oxygen, but there is. There just isn't enough oxygen to get 
all of us mm. there. Are you suggesting we let Trey kill himself? We need to lose two more. <laughs> so you want to kill two more crew members? Maybe you should have stuck with your original plan. <laughs> I say everything was going fine until yeah. they moved. When a stellar bomb is triggered, very little will happen at first. And then a spark will pop into existence. Oh, so they're creating fusion. That's what it sounds like. A new star born out of a dying one. I think it'll be beautiful. Are they sitting in the bomb right now? <laughs> I hope not. Okay. Is that the Icarus one? God, he is spending too much time doing this. <laughs> you notice that? No yeah. wonder he looks like he's toast all the time. <laughs> Are we just detached from our bomb right now? I think they are. I don't like this at all, man. What the hell was that? The air is full of dust. 80% of all dust is human skin. There's a lot of skin cells. There's a lot of human skin, yeah. We should split up. I'm not sure that's such a good idea. Go ahead, you yeah. first. <laughs> This is getting kind of horror elements here is what it feels like, you know? A dark ship that's full of floating human skin. Yeah, right. something fishy here. You gotta see this. Seven years of unchecked growth. So, yeah, you just need to get you just need to get in here and dust this place and you're yeah. good. What happened to the crew? Well, they didn't starve. <laughs> I mean... I am Ben Becker, commander of the Icarus One. What? Our star is dying. It is not to challenge God. Did y'all good just go nuts for no reason? I know what caused a distress signal. It's a coolant failure of some kind. Without the mainframe, we can't fly. It's been sabotaged. <laughs> so much for that. You, you found him. That's eerie. They burn themselves? No shit. I suspect the observation filter is fully open. Burn themselves alive. Well, that's what the damn doctor's been doing here. Icarus, Whoa, Icarus. Oh, the heck happened? Guys, get back to the airlock now. We have a major incident. We are floating free from you. Oh no. What caused that to happen? The airlock has decoupled. We don't know why. The locking system on Icarus 1 is totally ripped open. Oh god. We've got a hull breach. I can see it. You're losing atmosphere. Shit. No, we're not. You gotta have suits. Airlock's destroyed. There's only one suit. Cap is taking it. Well, I guess he's gotta survive. You need the scientist. Why, Kappa? Because the rest of us are lower priority. I'm not a low priority. Kappa, I order you to remove that suit. Coward. Get out of the suit! That is a direct order. That's an unethical order. You open your airlock, and we line it up just right. He'll fire inside. And so will we. You'll have 20 meters to cover. At minus 273 degrees Celsius. It's gonna be cold! You think? Lots of insulation. So I guess you get nothing out of the ship then. So this really was a whole waste. The computer's down. One of us has to manually operate the seal. Shit. One of us is staying behind. <laughs> Put the guy in the suit to do it. Yeah? It's me. That's what you're all thinking? No, Harvey. It's me. No, it's the guy in the goddamn suit who can just jump out. Or am I really off on my science here? No, I think you're spot on, actually. <clears throat> Things are already going awry. Somebody's going to venture off. Oh, they got him. All right. Got one of them. He's gone. Yeah, he's got nothing to grab. Harvey's gone. Crew detected in airlock. As soon as he gets past that shield, he's just gonna melt. Breathe, Kappa! Breathe! You're okay, man. Breathe! Breathe! Nasty frostbite. Oh, man. What did we- did we gain anything out of this? Nope. We're all thinking of you, sir. Oh, okay, once the... I see. Just... just go now. Why would you want to go that way? His choice. Unless Icarus is deleting her own files, she didn't do it. Which means the airlock was decoupled manually. 
Are you talking sabotage here? That's what they're thinking. We lost two breathers. If Trey dies, we'll have the oxygen to make it to the delivery point. You know where I stand. And me. Kill him. You're saying you need my vote. I'm saying you can't have it. We don't have time for this shit. <laughs> Decisions have to be made. I'm sorry, Cassie. You can make it easy for him. Find a kindness. Yeah, don't go making it personal and enjoy it. Right. Where is he? Or did he do it for you? It's like, yep, it's like he did it already. So you just been wasting your own oxygen without checking on him first? <laughs> All these deaths, none of them would have happened if you hadn't diverted the mission. What do you want me to say? I don't want you to say shit. I just want you to know that this belongs here. He's not wrong with it in the time for this. About to say life was going very smoothly though. Running an update and biometric signs for all crew. All crew are dying. As long as we can live long enough to deliver the payload. You will not live long enough to deliver the payload. What? <laughs> 16 hours until death. Journey time to delivery point 19 hours. Possible. There are only four crew members. Negative five crew members. It can't be five. Who's the fifth crew member? Unknown. Where is the fifth crew member? In the I'm wondering if somebody's stowed away from the other ship. Like they were alive? Yeah. Are you an angel? What the hell is this? That's not the captain, is it? He sounds like the guy from the recording. Who are you? The last man. Alone with God. Am I that man? It is. My God. Pinback. Not your God. My God. Oh no. Yeah, he's gone crazy. This is so Event Horizon. Wow. Did he just get him? That should have done it. We'll see. Nope. He's still there. Oh my God. Freaking messed up situation they're in. You said it like Freddy Krueger. You just lock you in there? Nobody saw a naked guy walk under your ship. <laughs> now you know how their airlock had problems. Yeah. How did the computer not notice though? You do not have authority to remove the mainframe panels from the coolant. Please identify yourself. Did you just take Icarus offline? Yeah, he's gonna destroy the ship. Oh, look at that. All right, that's a start. You have a long ways to go till you have enough oxygen to survive, though. Icarus, pass me through to Maze. I have something uh, wonderful to show him. Icarus. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't fight. Why are you distorted? That's what I want to know. Like, is he, like, actually possessed by something? <laughs> Daniel Boy, you watched way too much Event Horizon. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, even look at the ship, damn it. I mean, come on. It's very similar. Yeah. yeah. <gasps> I had no idea this was going to be a horror movie. Kappa! Kappa! Hey, we lost Kappa the order. Pinbacker is on board. He's trying to stop the mission. He's trying to destroy the mission. He's insane. You guys have, like, no deductive reasoning. I mean, come on. <laughs> you saw the other ship was sabotaged. You should have known something was wrong here. Yeah. The mainframe is out of the coolant! The mechanism is disabled! I can't lower the mainframe panel! Icarus is gonna burn out. He's gonna have to dive in. Yep. Oh, he's gonna die from this. He's got to. Like, how do you even keep our eyes open in that? I don't know. There's no way. Do you think he actually killed him? It's a possibility. Ah, 
There's no way you survive after this. <laughs> There you go, stab him. He's an actual freaking monster. He might be. Jesus. You're a damn hero, man. Face? We're in orbit. The computer's down. You have to break us out of orbit manually. Force the bomb into the sun. Jesus. We caught me unlock the airlock. I don't know how to just do it. Just do it. You're gonna have to get in that suit and go outside. Yeah, that's the only way to do it. He's gotta go back under. I'm about to say, he's making his sacrifice. Everybody dies in like the worst possible ways in the show. It's gonna drag you back down. Oh. Jesus. Oh no. It's gonna rip your leg off. Kappa. He's just bleeding out. Yeah. Is Beckett still alive? I, I think he is. <laughs> Say goodbye to any oxygen you had left. On the breast side, that should kill Beckett too, right? If it doesn't, we got problems. He's frozen. Jesus. One minute. Are you where you need to be for this? Bombs should move itself. The problem is they can't get away from it when the boosters kick in. Why why bother? You're gonna die out here. You have no oxygen. Oh no, he can't get up. That suit's gotta be heavy. Sure, I just don't know what the plan is here now. There's no plan. You, you fix the sun and you all die. That's how it works. It's literally your only option here. Unless aliens show up. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> Only dream I ever have. Every time I shut my eyes, it's always the same. Maybe he's gonna go with it. It's probably best he does, so he can arm this bomb or whatever. My god, you are running out of time to get there in time, though. Yep. They're gone. It's gone. Jesus. Everybody's just dead now. No survivors. Think the other girl made it onto this thing? I don't know for what purpose. No. No! Not him. No, tell me Beckett's not on this thing too. inside the bomb, okay. That's what I said, yeah. I didn't realize that. Cassie. We're flying into the sun. She is, okay. I need to know, where is he? Is he here? Yep. <gasps> How is he doing that? For seven years, I spoke with God. Oh my God, he's a damn demon. He told <laughs> me to take us all to heaven. <laughs> oh. Oh, I, I expected them to just like fall to their deaths. How is this guy able to lift somebody up like that? There's something freaky about him. I know he for real is Dr. Weir. Good lord, how are you guys alive? This thing should have roasted you. You're literally inside the sun. How are we still fighting here? I don't know. I like their concept of the inside, though. Oh my god. Yeah, they're just. It's burning up now.
You guys are making creation. Well, at least look at pretty sight before he dies. Yeah. Did he survive? I mean, <laughs> somehow. <Ow. laughs> I don't know, but it looks like he created a new star, though, huh? Time to stop for a minute? Probably. They said that was one of their variables. Yeah. Just get the message. You guys, come on! Well, it's good to be back on Earth, at least. Yeah, there's too much going on out in space. So if you wake up one morning, and it's a particularly beautiful day, you'll know we made it. what they say it takes eight minutes for the light to get there? Mm-hmm. There it is! You did it! They're in Australia. <laughs> and there yep. it is, Danny Boyle Danny for sure. Boyle. Yep. Wow. Okay then. That yep. took a turn like I didn't expect. I have questions. I have so many questions, I don't know where to begin. So let's talk about how this mission derailed like crazy. <laughs> you guys have one job. Go out there, activate a bomb in the sun, save humanity. Things are going smoothly. Everyone seems to be in agreement that the correct thing to do is go ahead and finish the mission. And then you don't. <laughs> you know, I'm sitting here looking at the guy. He's looking at his simulation and he's saying, the simulation's not 100% because, you know, once you get close enough to the sun, there's a lot of variables involved here that, that could sway things. But if you go off course, there's a lot more variables you have to deal with because you don't know what kind of condition the other ship is in. You don't know what's going to happen on the way there. You don't know if the bomb is even working on the other ship, so you'd be wasting your time trying to get the second one. And then for that matter, Assuming you get to the sun with your payload and it doesn't work, you still have the opportunity to come back, pick up the other payload, and try again. Instead, you try to go to the other ship right away, and things just go crazy from there. One small mistake ends up leading to more mistakes, which ends up leading to crew deaths, and yeah. <laughs> and not only that, but this thing went completely psychotic. Like, it went evil. Yeah. I mean, I was sitting here telling you, it's like, at first, I felt alien vibes, mm -hmm. and then all I got was Event Horizon vibes, and it stayed that way all the way to the bitter end there. Pretty much. Not only did you have one accident happen after another, you picked up a psychotic <laughs> on that ship. It's the only thing you gained off of that ship. The one thing you didn't need at the moment. You got none of its O2, nothing. <laughs> you didn't get its bomb. I mean, my god. And your AI did you no favors by saying, hey, we picked up an another presence here. The AI was all over the place. Like, it's sitting here telling you about every little thing that's wrong with the ship, and then as soon as you dock with Icarus 1, it's like, oh, it doesn't bother to tell you that somebody boarded your ship from the other one? Yeah, <laughs> crew member, undid, you know, unknown crew member is just boarded. When the sunlight's reflecting off the comms tower and hitting the, the green room, it doesn't set off an alarm that you have a fire going on in there? No, what kind <laughs> of crap is that? I know. It, it almost seems like these ships were thrown together in a desperate hurry mm -hmm. so that they could, because you saw that what looked like a, what looked like Sydney, Australia there at the yeah. end. I could be wrong about that, but I know that building when I see it, you know? Yeah. The pretty famous building, the Opera House. The Opera House, yeah. Yeah. So what are, I mean, what are we doing here, Earth scientists? <laughs> that AI needs to be like your uh, life form detected. Hey, we've had a, We've got a fire in the in the hydro in the aquaponics room. They took the time to give it a sultry voice, but not to make sure it can actually do its job. At least they got something to wank to. <laughs> <laughs> Talk dirty to me, Icarus. Jeez. That's the best it can do. <laughs> so my second question is, what exactly is wrong with the sun? Because all they said is the sun is dying and they didn't explain why. You don't always need to explain why, in my opinion. No, but my understanding of how the sun functions is it's full of, I think, helium. Helium or hydrogen, it's one of those. This is constantly burning. So if you're telling me that it's dying, then that means your source of whatever burning element is also decreasing too. So what could you possibly throw into it that's going to reignite it and get it to keep burning for another billion years? I don't know, because because all I saw them do was just create fusion. Yeah. And fusion's good. I mean, if you can, to my understanding, and I'm no freaking physic physicist or anything, but like if fusion's in like a, a tube kind of like that, 
it can go on indefinitely unless you stop it. But that's not the case here. It's, it's out in the open, wide open space. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't know what the plan was here, but I'm glad it worked. <laughs> it gave you a couple more years. Supposedly, I and mean, who knows? Yeah. They could wake up the next day and the sun's, you know, back to where it was. Yes. But but I had the, I had kind of the same questions too, because I'm sitting here like, yeah, just stay on mission, man. I get it. A second bomb would be good, but once you had one mistake, you you had no alternatives because now you now your only pathway was to go to the Icarus one, mm -hmm. and that led to more problems. You lost more crew members, and then it's like, okay, now we don't even have enough oxygen to live, to to get this bomb set off. Yeah. Miraculously, you did though. So there's that. Yes. Of course, people started dying. Yes, fortunately, people died so they could live long enough to get the bomb triggered. But that's an <laughs> odd way of saying that, but I guess so. <laughs> Sorry, it is what it is. Uh, My God, Kappa, he's, the good news for him is he didn't have to answer to this to anybody. So, true. as far as anyone knows, the mission went, you know, just fine, and they just didn't make it back. They had to know all about the, you know, the murder and the uh, suggested suicides, and, and now they never will. They never will know about it. So, yeah. But my. God, what a horrible judgment call that was, right? Yeah. See, for me, it's like, that is an unknown variable, going to that ship. That is one that you cannot risk. Not when not when the fate of humanity is at stake. You guys had done the math. You were perfectly you know, in line with where you need to be. All you have to do is stick with it. Yeah. Y'all would have come back home. You would have been heroes. You would have lived your lives. Yeah. Let's take this unnecessary risk. Yeah, it's like, don't fool yourself into thinking anybody's alive over there. Right. They all knew the risks, too. And unfortunately, they apparently didn't do any psych evaluations before they sent that first crew out. They might have known that Beckett has has some screws loose, man. Yeah. His cornbread ain't done in the middle. That's what I get there, so... This is why you don't send religious nuts to go do scientific things. If you, you, I feel like that was a political call. That was a straight political call. Putting that guy in, in, the, in the charge of the mission... Well, no, we're not sending anybody up there that don't believe in God. No, they, no, they need Jesus in their heart. That's what somebody said to get them on the crew. Maybe. Or else, you know, he just had a crisis of faith from being in space for 16 months and didn't. Well, then somebody should have relieved him of his command. Because the whole crew looked like they all did a mass, you know, exit, if well, you I mean, will. We're assuming it was a suicide. He could have locked them in there, you know, fried them all. Hmm. But, um, they don't really explain that, so we don't know for sure. They look like they were, like, in a prayer huddle. <laughs> yeah, they did. So somehow they turned into a cult and just decided to kill themselves. It's like... I don't know, but but that, that was one of the... Uh, but seeing them all like that, that was one of the Event Horizon moments. Seeing the guy crazy and naked and burnt up and, yeah. like, with his strength, that was another, you know? Going around killing the crew, and, you know, acting crazy like he is. And that's yeah. one thing they never really explained is like, you know, what is his deal? Like, one, why is he just so blurry all the time that you see him? Because if he's just burned, you know, just show him burned. You know, what's the problem with that? Probably because his dick is out. Okay. <laughs> Camera work can fix that. I was say, he did it with the weird. It's like, he, he, they, he didn't have one in the end, so. <laughs> but yeah, you know, they don't explain why he's so super strong. They don't explain how he's managed not to get vaporized with all the times he's been exposed to massive well, amounts of sunlight. Well, we only have uh, an hour and a half in this movie, Dan, so. <laughs> I think they probably had time to do it. Yeah, I mean, you didn't have. I, I feel like you didn't have to make him able to pick up a guy by the neck there. Yeah, that to me seemed a little extra. A bit excessive. Yeah, yeah I'm mean, way excessive. I'm like, yo, nobody else can do that. Why can you? Mm -hmm. And you've been stuck on the ship by yourself. You're not. You haven't been. If anything, you should be less strong because you've been out in space, L less gravity. Right. I thought the whole point of space is that it like changes your body to the point to where you start having issues after a while. Yes. You're, you're out there seven years. Yes, exactly. So, we're not buying it, Danny Boyle. <laughs> Danny Boy. <laughs> I don't know. I still... It, this movie still had me captivated, though. It had me hooked to the bitter end. I love the visuals, especially the outside shots of the ship. I thought it was really, really well done. Yes. Even better than Event Horizon, I'd say. I felt like I was in their shoes, mm -hmm. oftentimes, because... You know, I really felt like... I really felt the danger and the uh, potential of failing their mission. So. Yeah. And... People really manned up, so to speak, mm -hmm. when it when it mattered the most, especially the ones that knew they could do something about it. Like that guy, like a like a Chris Evans character there, yeah, jumped into that coolant two or three times. Mm -hmm. He knew it was going to kill him, and he kept going. So good on him. He's like, yeah, that because I need to get this online so he can so he can launch this thing into the sun. Right. So he did the, you know, it's like only he could have done that. Fortunately, he lived long enough to do. It. Yeah. 
Well, yeah, but I think because he dug deep, you know? Yeah. Took every every ounce of strength he could and got it done. So mm -hmm. it didn't look like it was a particularly violent death, and that's good. I think he'd earned an easy way out, so to speak. But that was as easy as it was going to get. I mean, the guy it was a heroic death. So The guy still died from a combination of freezing and bleeding out. Uh, it could have been worse. <laughs> yeah. Aside from the very you know, questionable decision-making by the, by the cast, I think overall I enjoyed the movie. I think it was probably a little bit overcast, if I'm being honest with you, because it had a lot of really big-name actors in here who didn't necessarily have, like, roles that required extensive acting like that. Probably not. Like, Chris Evans didn't need to do the role, but, I mean, I'm cool with it no, nonetheless. Yeah. So, not, everything Killian Murphy's in is great. Mm -hmm. So, there's just the other variables. You know that that you threw into this. You know, poor dis poor judgment calls, mm -hmm. uh, other things like that. So, yeah, poor judgment calls that is really just one, one one bad call, and it cost and nearly cost your mission. Yeah, forget your lives. Yeah, I mean, yeah. You're, you've seen a lot of you know, space movies where you know things go wrong. That tends to happen with such with such a intensive job. Sure. You know, it's just the fact that you guys kept making it worse and worse by keeping on with stuff and not addressing it when you had the chance it'd be like that you know yeah. i mean that was the whole point this, this was meant to be a thriller i think mm -hmm. so and it did and it went all the way to the bitter end with it i never could figure out why it was necessary for them to be that close to the sun wouldn't the sun's gravity have eventually pulled the bomb in on its own i think eventually or it could have eventually launched it off into orbit maybe they needed to get that close so that they could launch boosters at the right second because you don't have infinite fuel on that thing either mm -hmm. so I'd imagine that this was all something that NASA cooked up with the rest of the uh, space-going uh, countries, and they came up with the uh, solution that made the most sense for what they knew. Okay. That's, <laughs> I'm, I'm speculating here, right. but yeah. Uh, that's all we can do is speculate. Absolutely. I, w is it what I would have done? <laughs> what do I know? <laughs> Not NASA scientists. No. Bam, I think that's going to do it. Help us out in the comments, guys. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are on this, guys. But as always, if you're brand new to the channel, I hope you'll consider subscribing and help us grow. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and hit the bells to receive notifications every time we drop a new one. And should you feel compelled to give us a piece of your mind, do so in the comments. While you're at it, take a look at us on our socials. We're on Instagram and TikTok. See what we're up to over there. Also, if you feel like supporting this channel any further, consider joining up and becoming a member. It's not required, and Dan certainly wouldn't recommend it. But we'd love to have you anyway. But as always, this is Cocktail Flicks. I'm Joe. I'm Dan. We'll catch you on the flip side. Cheers to you, fam. Cheers to you, Dan. Cheers to you, Joe. Later, guys.